good evening students so in this video we are going to see the reaction injection molding so in the last class last video we saw the uh, injection mold done this is the continuation of the uh, injection mold only this is one type of react uh, one type of injection mold done molding only so reaction injecting molding here you can see this drawing okay here two reactive gradients that is nothing but the harner and base reasons are a pumped at high speed okay at high speed and pressured pressurized into the mixing head here you can see this pressuring into the uh, injector injector and mold cavities into a mold cavity where curing and solidification uh, uh, occurs due to the chemical reactions okay due to the chemical reactions here you can see a hardener and base resins are combined with one part then uh, okay that will be pumped into the pressurized high speed pump with uh, pumped at high speed and the pressure will be applied then it will be uh, injected into the mold head so after that uh, that will be available in the clamping press okay so inside the part the mold is uh, uh, filled with filled then the excess vacuum or air will be uh, excess air will be come out so after that what will happen for curing process we are curing and solidification process we are doing that uh, chemical reactions here one step injection will be there then then this is the two step uh, mold, uh, mold core then injected okay uh, this is the simple process of uh, this is the explanation of uh, reaction injection molding then reaction injection molding uh, molding similar to the rea uh, reinforced reaction injection molding is similar to the reaction injection molding we it is including okay uh, reinforcing fibers typically glass fibers in the mixture but the previous one only that uh, resin and uh, resin and hardener will be available but here the uh, both things will be available for the things available with the glass fiber they will have a advantage is similar to the rim no heat energy is required low cost of mold with the added benefit benefit of the fiber reinforced products are auto body truck cab applications for bumpers okay then other body parts other car body parts then film stacking okay stack of laminate consist of the fiber impregnated with insufficient that is the important point insufficient thermoplastics and polymer films of complementary weight to give the desired volume okay the, uh, whichever amount of volume is required desired fiber volume fraction is in the end of the product okay impregnated with insufficient with a yeah, sufficient thermoplastic matrix thermoplastic matrix and polymer films of complementary weight to give the desired fiber volume fraction in uh, in the end of the product these are the these are the consolidated by the similar uh, simultaneous application of heat and pressure okay by uh, then generally a pressure will be 6 to 12 mega pascal the under the temperature between 275 to 300 350 degrees celsius we are using then the during type curing time will be 30 minutes are appropriate for thermoplastic such as polysulfonates and poly uh, poly poly 3 uh, polyether ketone okay they will call as pee ken the polyether ether ether ketone okay then here yeah, diaphragm uh, dia diaphragm forming this is the process involves the sandwiching of free floating okay sandwiching of freely floating thermoplastic prepex here you can see the prepex are in the form of striking layers between the two diaphragms here you can they kept the two diaphragms okay the clamping is used to fix the two diaphragm below that the mold cavity will be available then in the upper portion the heated uh, autoclave autoclave heated autoclave this is the heat uh, heated uh, not upper portion the inside the heated autoclave the entire process will be taken place then uh, after that the pressure is applied one side uh, the which do, de deforms the dia diaphragms and makes the um, the take the shape of the mold take the shape of the mold the laminate layers are freely floating and flexible and uh, flexi very flexible uh, above the melting point of the matrix thus they readily conform to the mold shapes readily conform to the mold shapes okay after the completion of this uh, 
the forming process the mold is cooled here the mold is cooled the diaphragms are stripped off and the composites is obtained the diaphragms are key to form the process forming the process and that the stiffness is very critical parameter here the stiffness is very critical parameter that will be obtained by the uh, 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 in between the two diaphragms okay clamping by the clamping process okay for very complex shapes requiring high molding pressures okay especially high molding pressures stiffing stiff diaphragms are needed okay uh, then at high pressures a significant transfer frequency excusing flow can result this can be produced desirable thickness variation in the final composites okay the advantages are uh, uh, double curvature can be obtained then compliant diaphragm do the job for simple component then next is nothing but thermoplastic tape laying in this method the layers of per, uh, prepex that is nothing but the reinforcing phase impregnated by the liquid design okay they tapes are applied on the mold surface by the tape application robot by the only with help of the tape application robot we are doing this so cost is about half of the lay and lay okay half of the hand lay techniques so hand lay techniques is the easiest process and the cost is very less as compared to that it is the easiest process uh, cost is very less means you can assume how much cost is enough uh, then uh, used for thermo sets and thermoplastic matrix also limited to flow or low curvature surfaces okay uh, small amount of that means small amount of thickness only we can maintain extensively used for the products such as air frames yeah air frame component body of the boats trucks tanks swimming pools and ducts okay here you can see this automated tape laying machine okay uh, with help of the auto laying tape machine they are making that a product automated tape laying machines operated by the dispensing or prepack tape uh, tape onto the open mold following a program path only they will be do with help of the uh, programmed work the typical machine consists of the overhead gantry to which the dispensing head is attached so xy position will be xyz position will be uh, where the path will be given by the uh, programming only okay then interfacial bonding okay next interfacial bonding good bonding between matrix phase and the dispersed phase provides transfers of load apply to the material to the dispersed phase via the interface here you can see this this is the interface they will giving uh, this is the matrix phase and this is the reinforcing phase so for providing better bonding the interface will be given okay uh, the addition is necessary for achieving high level of mechanical uh, properties of the property of the composite this uh, there are three forms of interface between two phases one is direct bonding with no intermediate no intermediate layer so there is no intermediate layer the only direct bond will be available then in this case addition is providing by either covalent bonding or van der waals forces then intermediate layer is, uh, layer is in the form of solid solution of the matrix dispersed phase uh, constituent intermediate layer is in the uh, is in form of the third bonding here they will given the uh, uh picture of interface there is all there is uh, there is always an interface between the constituent phase in the composite material for the composite to operate effectively the phase must bond where the join at the interface okay then reinforcement uh, matrix phase the load acting on the matrix as to transfer the okay to transfer the reinforce via interface so when the load is ha uh, Uh, load is applying on the transfer uh, matrix so that is transferring to the reinforce uh, via interface only the reinforcement must be strongly bonded to the matrix if high stiffness and strength is des are desired okay that is a very very important point the weak interface result low stiffness and strength but high resistance to the fracture it is the very it, it gives the uh, final fracture for, okay then a the, uh, strong interface produces high stiffness and strength but often low resistance to the fracture brittle brittle behavior okay two types of failures at interfaces are one is adhesive failure another one is cohesive failure adhesive failures occurs at the interface but cohesive failures occurs close to the interface not a, a particularly on the interface okay next interfacial bonding once the matrix has 
where this reinforcement bonding will occur okay at the faces at the at particular point is called as interface for a given system more than one bonding mechanism may exist at the, the same time the bonding may change during the various production stages or during services here there are three types of interfacial bonding is given one is mechanical bonding second one is physical bonding and third one is chemical bonding the mechanical bond is shown in the figure here you can see this a simple mechanical bonding a keying or interlocking effect between fiber and rheumatic faces as shown in vr when the matrix shrinks due to the cooling process it will be happen over the reinforcement leads to the gripping action okay that is the important point so gripping action of the matrix fiber so shrinkage will be given as a one of the gripping to the matrix of the uh, sorry the matrix to reinforcement of the fiber then physical bonding this kind of uh, bonding involves the weak secondary or van der waals forces dipolar interaction and high hydrogen bonds this type of bonding mechanism is low significance is not a very important one because of its low magnitude the bond energy lies in the range of 8 to 16 kJ per mole then third one is chemical bonding okay dissolution bonding here you can see this this is a chemical bonding process process diagram explaining the diagram explained okay base bonding is of short range and occur at an electronic scale okay short range electronic scale this type of bonding is hindered by the presence of impurities okay hindered by the presence of impurities on the fiber surface and also gas or air bubbles at the interface okay reaction bonding the bonding is due to the transport of the molecules atoms and ions which diffuse into goes inside to the interface okay in interface what is interface here you can see this the interface third ingredient is called as the interface some cases okay the third ingredient must be added to achieve the better bonding okay between this primary and secondary bonding phases that is called as the interface okay then other another interface they show in the diagram this is the another interface uh, interface consists of the solution of the primary same thing only they they will call as the interface okay then application of the pmcr polymer composites are used to make a very light base light equip products okay a, which is faster and easier to handle the standard one fish example fishing board that uh, fishing board basic is the simple example fishing boards are resistive and to corrosive sea water and lightweight turbine blades to generate that generates the wind power okay efficiently new commercial air caps are also contain more composites than uh, the previous one yeah triple five passenger plane recently built by the airbus for example consists of the 25 percent of composite material while boeing is designing a new jumbo a new jumbo aircraft that is planned to more than an all polymer composites okay then polymer composites are used for manufacturing secondary load bearing aerospace structures okay board bodies canoes then uh, kayaks auto kayaks uh, then uh, automotive parts radio controlled vehicles okay ever these are the made things and all made by the polymer matrix composites so in this uh, uh, in this unit we saw the the Uh, the basic definition of polymer basic definition of the polymer matrix composites and application uh, and manufacturing process after that the applications advantages everything at all we saw in this uh, polymer matrix composites okay uh, thank you for uh, viewing this video thank you very much